Hey, uh, my name's Andy and welcome to the channel. So today I'm jumping into Ant-Man. Now, I have never, like, I, I don't think until I looked at a list of Marvel movies, like the order which I'm supposed to watch them in, I don't think I'd ever actually heard of Ant-Man. So I don't know anything about this. Like, I, I've obviously heard of Batman, Spider-Man, Ant-Man though? I've not, it's, no, no, it's not something I've heard of. Yeah, I, I do feel like the movies are starting to get a lot more kind of connected. Although whether that's going to be the case with this one, I don't know, just because I'm guessing it's a new hero. So maybe this movie is going to be a little bit more about introducing the guy rather than kind of connecting with with other soups at the moment. Soups. God. Sorry, I'm not watching the boys. Yeah, so from that point of view, I'm not quite sure what to expect. I mean, from every point of view, I'm not sure what to expect, to be fair. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> While I'm sure you know the drill by now, if you are interested in full-length reactions or gaining early access to edited ones, then you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. If that's something that interests you, then go check it out. And obviously, if you do find yourself enjoying this reaction, please do leave a like and a subscribe. It really does help. So yeah, I think with all that said, let's jump into this. This is my reaction to Ant-Man. Good lord, are we jumping straight into it? Stark? He doesn't seem happy. Hello, Hank. Oh. Supposed to be in Moscow. I took a detour. Oh, it's him. It's a poor attempt to replicate my work. You were instructed to go to Russia. I'm a scientist. Then act like one. You'd protected Janet with such ferocity. Ah! Ow. You mentioned my wife again, and I'll show you ferocity. Hank, we need you. As long as I am alive, nobody will ever get that formula. You shouldn't let him leave the building. You've already lied to him, now you want to go to war with him? Yes. You just kicked your ass full size. That's Agent Carr, isn't it? But older. So I was wondering if it was when I first saw her, but then I heard her talk. This is obviously quite connected to the other movies then. <laughs> Being as we've got Stark in it. And Agent Carter. <laughs> Oof, hello. You like that? You like that? <laughs> well, what if I come in on the left side, right? Just down here, you see this right there? <laughs> oh dear, I'd be running. I'll miss you, Scott. I miss you too, Peachy. Man, you guys got the weirdest goodbye rituals. Weird. Cutty! <laughs> What's up, man? Thanks for picking me up, brother. You're gonna be on your feet in no time. Watch. I hope so. And I gotta introduce you to some people, some really skilled people. Not interested. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious, man. I'm not going back. I got a daughter to take care of. I got a master's in electrical engineering, all right? I'm gonna be fine. Welcome to Baston Robbins. Would you like to try our mango fruit blast? <laughs> I see you in the back, Chief. Pronto. Sure thing, Dale. Darby, could you just uh, take care of this idiot? Thanks. Amazing customer service skills. Well, I'm very happy in this job, and I really just yeah, appreciate the yeah. opportunity to well, help you're support fired. Me, of course. I mean, to... <laughs> nice work on the Vista job. Well, technically, I didn't rob them. Robbery involves threat. I hate violence. I burgled them. They were overcharging the customers, right? He blows the whistle and he gets fired. And what does he do? He hacks into the security system and transfers millions back to the people that they stole it from. Hmm. My cousin talked to this guy two weeks ago. I'm finished, man. I'm not going back to jail. Well, I don't have a feeling he's not going to be out. Dr. Pym? Yes, I'm still alive. Good morning, Hank. Hope. Did it kill you to call me dad? Well, Dr. Cross will be so pleased that you could find the time to join us today. More like thrilled. 
Or do I have a feeling he's... Long time no see, Dr. Pam. Oh. How's your face? After you. Now, before we start, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. This company's founder and my mentor, Dr. Hank Pym. When I took over this company for Dr. Pym, I immediately started researching a particle that could change the distance between atoms while increasing density and strength. And just imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate super weapon. An ant man. Okay. I am proud to present the end of warfare as we know it. The yellow jacket. An all-purpose weapon of war, capable of altering the size of the wearer for the ultimate combat advantage. Yeah, that seems slightly alarming. It also looks like a wasp. And one day soon, an army of Which immediately makes it a little asshole. So it's a suit. What's the matter? You're not impressed? Imagine what our enemies could do with this tech. He's gonna be a problem, isn't he, this guy? Not that guy, the him. You don't do this. Twat. How close is he? He still can't shrink a live subject. Just give me the suit and let me finish this once and for all. No. We don't have a choice. Well, it's not entirely true. I think I found a guy. Hmm. Is he gonna try and shrink him? I'm so sorry I'm late. I didn't know what time your party started. It was on the invitation. He didn't get an invitation. What are you doing here, I I'm paid a dime of child support. You know, right now, if I wanted to, I could arrest you. What is that thing? He's so ugly! I love him! You have to get engaged to a cop? At least he's not a crook. Oof. I'm straight. I'm tr I had a job and... I missed so much time and I want to be a part of her life. What do I do? Get a job, pay child support, and then we will talk about visitation, I promise. Doesn't seem unreasonable, to be fair. I'm sorry you have such deep concerns about the yellow jacket, Frank. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, we can't just do whatever we want. There are laws. The laws of nature transcend the laws of man, and I've transcended the laws of nature. I don't think you understand. Oh, that's delicious. I don't know why I just used that word either. That's the exact opposite of delicious. How's the party? Tell me about that tip. Oh, baby, it's on! Cut those. It's so on right now. Calm down, all right? I just need to know where it came from. It's got to be airtight. I was at a wine tasting with my cousin Ernesto, and he tells me about this girl, Emily, that we used to kick it with. It was actually the first pair of boobs that I ever touched. It's the wrong details. It's the wrong. It has nothing to do with the story. And she tells him about the dude that she's cleaning for. And here comes a good part. Carlos says, this guy's got a big ass safe just sitting in the basement. And whatever's in it, it's gotta be good. All right, there's an old man, he's got a safe, and he's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. You know what I'm saying? Check. Check. Hey, if the job goes bad, you know I got your back, right? Don't worry. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I love it when he gets cocky. I mean, I guess this would be much easier if he was small. Alarm is dead. Nice. All right, I'm moving through the house. 
nervous. There's a fingerprint lock on the door. He's got a what? Ernesto didn't tell me nothing about that. Oh man, are we screwed? Not necessarily. Gonna find something with the fingerprint on? Jeez. I'm in. Oh, man. What is it? Well, they weren't kidding. This safe is serious. Made from the same steel as the Titanic. Can you crack it? Remember what that iceberg did? Yeah, man, it killed DiCaprio. <laughs> he's obviously quite good at whatever it is he's doing, isn't he? What are you doing? I poured water in the locking mechanism and froze it with nitrogen. Ice expands, metal doesn't. What are you doing now? Waiting. It's not very subtle though, is it? Jesus. Nice. Not like they can pretend that nobody's been there. There's nothing here. What'd you say? It's a, a suit. There's no cash, no jewelry, nothing? Shit. It's gonna be the suit, isn't it? I'm really sorry, Scotty. I know you needed a scorer. He's gonna take the suit anyway. Maybe? Oh! Was that deliberate then? Did he deliberately, like, bait him? To take the suit? Commence experiment 34C, organic atomic reduction. Darren, maybe we should- I can't go to the buyers with half a breakthrough. Hmm. I'm not sure I should be holding coffee at this precise moment. Yeah, that didn't work, did it? Sanitize the workstation, bring in subject 35C. Why would you like this up? Exactly. Put it on. I don't know what that stuff is, but it looks cool. Oh god. Got it, what's up, man? Can we try pressing the buttons? Oh my god. Okay, that's quite cool. I hadn't really considered the cir the consequences of being that small. That is quite terrifying. The world sure seems different from down here, doesn't it, Scott? What? Who said that? Oh, good grief. That's not at all terrifying. <laughs> oh, is he gonna go down the plug hole? Oh, Ow. Guess you're tougher than you thought. Oh no. Oh, that's horrible. Spiders. Jesus. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is making me so nervous. <laughs> oh no, not Hoover. Oh 
Oh, good God. Shit. What the hell? It's not bad for a test drive. I'll no, be in touch. No, 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 thank you. Yeah, I, I would take it back. Yeah, exactly. I didn't steal anything. I was returning something I stole. <laughs> you know, you almost had us convinced that you were going to change your ways. They were really rooting for you. You got a visitor. Who? Your lawyer. Is it going to be Hank? Sit down. I'm sorry I stole the suit. I don't even want to know why you have it. Maggie was right about you. The moment things get hard, you turn right back to crime. You have a choice. You can either spend the rest of your life in prison or go back to your cell and await further instructions. I don't understand. No, I don't expect you to. Why do you think I let you steal that suit in the first place? What? Second chances don't come around all that much. Why him, though? What is all of that? Is that... Ooh, I don't even want to know. Okay, that's cool. Quickly. Uh, quick, quick, quick. Smart choice. You actually listen for once. So it's Hank, the blue ant thing. Where the hell did he go? I have no idea. He just vanished. Get back! Get back! Get back! Scott, these are my associates. Huh? Yeah, sure. Why not? Incoming. Jesus. That was kind of cool, but also kind of gross. Are you kidding? How safe just is that? Just get on the damn hand, Scott. I would be like, no, thank you. I'll just stay here. At least it's not a spider. Whoa! Alright. Now, what's the next move? Hang on tight. Hang on tight. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'm controlling 247. He is not listening to you. Oh, that's gross. Let's set her down, alright? I'm getting lightheaded. Hang on, Scott. Oh, dear. Hi. Who are you? Hey, look. Oh god, no. Dr. Pym's waiting for you downstairs. How am I supposed to do this? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I don't want to stand on somebody by accident. Ugh. So was the girl... I don't know what to think of her yet. I assume that you've already met my daughter, Hope. Hope. I go to all this effort to let you steal my suit, and then Hope has you arrested. Okay, we can try this, and when he fails, I'll do it myself. I was very impressed with how you managed to get past my security system. I've been watching you for a while. Would you like some sugar? Yeah. No, I don't want the sugar. No, yeah. <laughs> How do you make them do that? I use electromagnetic waves to stimulate their olfactory nerve center. I speak to them. That's actually really cool, isn't it? I just have one question. Who are you? Who is she? What the hell's going on? And can I go back to jail now? It was too dangerous. So I hid it from the world. And that's when I switched gears and I started my own company. I took on a young protege called Darren Cross. Okay, so he's not his son. He had rumors about what was called the Pym Particle. So he conspired against me and he voted me out of my own company. Uh... So what do you want from me? 
Scott, I believe that everyone deserves a shot at redemption. If you can help me, I promise I can help you be with your daughter again. My days of breaking into places and stealing shit are done. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some shit. <laughs> Amazing. Here's Dickhead. Just execute a few more sheep. Oh god. Unless we break in and steal the yellow jacket and destroy all the data, Darren Cross is gonna unleash chaos. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. I spent half my life trying to keep this technology out of the hands of the Stark. I'm sure as hell not gonna hand deliver it to one now. Besides, they're probably too busy dropping cities out of the sky. <laughs> I mean, I'm a good thief, but this is insane. He's right, Hank, and you know it. I was against using him when we had months, now we have days. I'm wearing the suit. Absolutely not. He is Listen a criminal. Me, I'm your daughter. No! I need you to be the Ant-Man. The relationship between man and suit is symbiotic. The suit has power. The man harnesses that power. You should be able to shrink and grow on a dime. Now dive through the keyhole, Scott. Charge big, you dive small, then you emerge big. Ow. <laughs> Useless. You punch too hard, you kill someone too soft, it's a love tap. In other words, you have to know how to punch. I was in prison for three years, I know how to punch. Show me. Terrible. You wanna show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> That's how you punch. Hope trained in martial arts at a uh, difficult time. Oh, by difficult time, he means when my mother died. We lost her in a plane crash. It's bad enough you won't tell me how she died. Could you please stop telling me that lie? We're working here. You know, I think this regulator is holding me Do back. not screw with the regulator. You would go subatomic. You would enter a quantum realm where all concepts of time and space become irrelevant. Everything that you know and love, gone forever. You've yet to learn about your greatest allies, the ants. Well, you're not so crazy. <laughs> you're cute. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a lot scarier a second ago. Who's next? Oh god. Bullet ants, right? Hey guys, you remember me from the bedroom? You're gonna need to signal the crazy ants to blow the servers, retrieve the suit, and exit the vaults before the backup power comes on. Alternatively known as a carpenter ant, ideal for ground and air transport. I'm gonna call an Anthony. Anthony, yes. Oh. Hank wants you outside for target practice. The suit has no weapons, so I made you these discs. Red shrinks, blue enlarges. Fire ants have evolved into remarkable architects. They are handy to get you in and out of difficult places. You can do it, Scott. Come on. They're not listening to me. We don't have time for coddling. Our focus should be on helping Scott. Really? That is horrible. I don't know why I came to you in the first place. You can't do this without me. 
Oh, God. You gotta lock your doors. Do you think this is a joke? You know when my mother died? I didn't see him for two weeks. He was in grief. Yeah, so was I, and I was seven. He just sent me off to boarding school. Even now, he still wants to shut me out. He doesn't want to shut you out. He trusts you. Then why are you here? Hope. I'm expendable. That's why I'm here. You must have realized that by now. You have to clear your mind, Scott. You have to make your thoughts precise. That's how it works. Think about Cassie, about how badly you want to see her and use that to focus. That's good. Your mother convinced me to let her join me on my missions. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't regret having said yes. <laughs> it hijacked a Soviet missile silo in Kursk. So that's how her mother died. I knew I had to shrink between the molecules to disarm the missile. But my regulator had sustained too much damage. Your mother, she didn't hesitate. She turned off her regulator and went subatomic to deactivate the bomb. Your mom died a hero. And I spent the next 10 years trying to learn all I could about the quantum realm. You were trying to bring her back. It's not your fault. You lost your mother. I didn't mean to lose you, too. That makes sense. This is awesome. Thank you. You guys are breaking down walls. You're healing. Important. I ruined the moment tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna make some tea. Anthony, yes. So weird. But cool, but also weird. The final phase of your training will be a stealth incursion. We must retrieve this prototype. We need it to counteract the transmission blockers. It's currently collecting dust in one of Howard Stark's old storage facilities. You're over the target area. Squadron A, go! Please don't drop me this time! Hank, didn't you say this was some old warehouse? God, get out of there. Abort! No, it's okay. It doesn't look like anyone's home. He's gonna lose his suit. He's gonna lose his life. A Stark's house. Somebody's home, Scott. Ooh. I had a sensor trip, but I'm not seeing anything. Abort, Scott! It's okay. He can't see me. I can see you. He can see me. <laughs> hi. I'm Scott. Did he just say, hi, I'm Scott? I was hoping I could grab a piece of technology. Located the breach, bringing him in. Sorry about this. Okay, that was quite cool. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Improvising? Those wings are so cool. Sorry! Look, look, I'm sorry about this, sorry! That's enough! Ow. I've lost visual. He's in 
inside my pack! Ow. It's really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. You jeopardized everything. He got it. Yes, he did. Hey, how about the fact that I fought an Avenger and didn't die? Let's not dwell on the past. We gotta finish our planning. Garen. Shit. How the hell did you get in here? Left the front door open, Hank. Plants. He will kill him. I have good news. Really? Oh, you are an asshole. We're anticipating 15 billion in sales tomorrow alone. You're welcome. Oh, I don't like this. I'd like you to be there. This is my moment. I want you to see it. Sure, Derek. Yeah, sure. I'll be there. Could it just go away now? All those years ago, you picked me. What did you say? It's what? I saw myself. Why did you push me away? Because I saw too much of myself. He's baiting you. We have to call it off. What if he saw me here? He didn't. There's no way. How do you know that? Darren, hi. Where are you right now? I'm at home. Why? He's tripling security. He's lost his mind. And he's on to you. How are we going to get Scott inside? The water main. You can't add security to a water main. The pressure is too strong, but if we can decrease it, that's how I get in. We expand our team. No, 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 not those three wombats. No way. Thank you for the coffee, ma'am. <laughs> Are you sure they can handle this? Oh, we can handle it. We're professionals. You got their credentials? He's in the system. I'm in the sizzle. The sizzle? <laughs> That rabbit toy is horrendous. Oh. All right, just so we're clear, everyone here knows their role, right? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm just excited. And plus, your girlfriend's really hot, so, you know, that makes me nervous too. And you are very beautiful, ma'am. Oh, my lord. Hey, you know what? I was thinking of a tactic, like a whistling to like blend in. No, no whistling. All clear in sector one. He does look the part there, doesn't he? Wish me luck. Oh, I'm nervous. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, boss man said to secure the area. I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, he probably wouldn't have noticed you if you hadn't been whistling. But I guess it kind of worked out anyway, so that's fine. That would be actually kind of cool. I'm not sure the ants grabbing me would be cool. All right, let's fly, Anthony. Oh, that's horrendous. Please don't. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I call it. An, an unfortunate casualty in a very serious operation. <laughs> Looks like Pim's getting arrested. Shit. If 
If I don't get into this building, people will die. That's awfully dramatic. It's awfully true. Are you kidding me? That is pretty good, actually. Shit. Hi. How do I look? There are so many things I could say, but I won't. Because I'll just have to censor it out afterwards. Just in time. Come on. I'm sure the actor is a lovely guy, but I just want to punch him in the face. His character, I mean, not the actor. Oh, was this shield? Anthony. All right, guys, I'm in position. I'm gonna signal the ants. Assume formation. Let's fry these servers. Okay, that's cool. I am nervous, though. Hello, Dr. Cross. My associates have agreed to your terms. Wonderful. Mr. Carson introduced me to these fine gentlemen here, the representatives of Hydra. You tried to hide your technology from me, and now it's going to blow up in your face. Nice. Punch him again. Setting the charges. Final position. Guys, how are we looking on that laser grid? Almost. No, you're not. I'm getting close. No, you're not. San Francisco PD! Shit. Ready to jump. Do you read, Kurt? No! Go now! Wait! What? What do you mean, wait? God. Hey, little guy. Oh, bollocks. I always suspected you had a suit stored away somewhere, which begs the question, who is the new Ant-Man? Scott Lang, who took on the system and paid the price, losing his family and his only daughter in the process. Exactly your kind of guy, Hank. And now he brings me the Ant-Man suit. The only thing that can rival my creation. If you sell to these men, it's gonna be chaos. Oh, I'll sell them the yellow jacket, but I'm keeping the particle to myself. What do you call the only man who can arm the most powerful weapon in the world? You proud of me yet? You can stop this, Darren. It's not too late. Darren! Entitled f What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. You're right. I have to be the one to do it. There we go. Drop your gun. Shoot him. You know, I came to the house the other night to kill him, but you were there. I wasn't ready to kill you then. But I think I am now! Drop your gun! Now! You picked the wrong side, Hope. Beautiful. Fuck. Hank, no, no. Hank, listen, you're gonna be okay. All right, you're gonna be just fine. Shit. Beautiful. <sighs> Can we shoot him? Just shoot him. Shoot everyone. 1033 at Pimtac. Request immediate backup. Ow. Oh, that better not be Anthony. You two. 
Kill anything that comes out of that vault! Dad... We need to get him out of here. Go get that suit. Nice. Scotty! Thank you, Louise. But we're not done yet. Get out of here before this place blows! Oh, damn it! Yes! We're getting out of here! Oh, he went back for the guy that he knocked out earlier. We've got to find a way out of here and fast. I'm not gonna die. And neither are you. Multiple shots! Fire! Grief. And a tank just arriving. And there's a tank. <laughs> a little help! Oh, bless him. Oh no, who was that actually? Was it just the guard? Yes, it was just the guard. For a second, I thought it was the him. Shit. You're gonna regret that. Nice. Did you think you could stop the future with a heist? It was never just a heist. Oh, wow. Shit. Oh, crap. Jesus. I'm gonna disintegrate you! Claim disintegration by the cure. Oh dear. So that seems a little bit unnecessary. It's okay. <laughs> Did that kill him? Get your hands up. Get him up. Shit. Scott Paxton, you have to listen to me. Shit. There's something in that backyard that needs to be destroyed. In the bug zapper, there- <laughs> You need to desist right now! Your delusions are out of hand! All units, we have a 236 in progress at 840 Winter Street. Cassie! <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Don't be scared. Oh, go on. Nice. Are you a monster? Do I look like a monster? You look like a twat. <coughs> there you are. Daddy, is that you? Hi, Peanut. Why don't you pick on someone your own size?
There you are. <laughs> Not just me. <laughs> oh, please don't kill the ants. Scotty needs us, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna stop us. Except those cops. Bag it up. Bag it up, Chloe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just bag it up. Yeah. Just bag it up, okay? That's it. Bag it up. That's right. It'd be much easier to hit you if you were bigger! Yeah, I agree. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Cassie, I'm coming! Yeah, I would be a little bit alarmed as well, honestly. Freeze! FFPD! Shit. Get her out of here! Sorry, sweetheart. You have to help Daddy pay for his mistakes. I'm gonna have to shrink between the molecules to get in there. Daddy, help! I love you, Cassie. Oh no. You would enter a reality. <laughs> Scott, please. You don't remember anything. You made it. You got out. Is it possible? When did this happen? Nothing's happening. Well, hold on. Shoot me again. Yeah, I don't know what you were doing grabbing and kissing me like that. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised myself. I have to get somewhere. I'll see you later, Hank. Really hope. Scott. Yeah? You're full of shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something happened with the cameras. Circuits got fried. And then I told them that you were processed correctly. Really? Well, yeah. Can't be sending Cassie's dad back to jail on a technical glitch, right? Thank you for everything you do for Cassie. Oh, well. This one I, I did for you. This is awkward. Yeah. Yeah. This is a professional gymnast. 
Mm -hmm. Just give me the facts. Just the facts. Only the facts. Focus. Keep it simple. Okay, so I'm at this art museum with my cousin Ignacio, right? <laughs> And he's like, I'm looking for a guy that shrinks. And? What'd he say? He said, yes. There's something I want to show you. You can't destroy it. All you can do is make sure that it's in the right hands. This is an advanced prototype Miller and I worked on together. We were working on it for you. Maybe it's time we finished it. Hey, Cap! Steve! This would have been a lot easier a week ago. If we call Tony, no, he won't believe us. We're on our own. Maybe not. I know a guy. Interesting. That was a really good one. It was it was a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Maybe it's because I've just never heard of it and I was thinking, well, how good could it be? But there was a lot more to it than I expected. Like, I didn't expect, funnily enough, the ants. <laughs> I know it's called Outman. I just expected a shrinking guy, I suppose. I didn't think about actual ants helping him. And, and it's funny as well, because another thing I didn't think about was how different everything would look to a shrunk person. I didn't kind of think about the perspective of how scary things would look like regular things when you're tiny. Like, you know, at the beginning when he was in that bath, it was just like, oh my God, what if you go down the plug hole? Do you know what I mean? It was, it was stuff like that, I think made it really cool. And like the bit at the end when he made the, the toy big and the ant as well. It was just, it was just little things like that, which I don't know, it just, it just made it a lot of fun. And I liked the humor in it as well. That was really cool. Very well done. And it was surprisingly more connected to the other movies than I was expecting, considering we were being introduced to a new hero. So that was good as well. I'm not sure what the next movie is. I've got a feeling it might be another Captain America. I'm not sure. I think it might be Captain America Civil War. But obviously I will check that before I go ahead and record it. <laughs> yeah i think that's probably gonna be it from me don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this otherwise i will see you in the next video bye bye